with a movie concussion coming out this week, highlighting potential problems that getting hit in the head too much creates, we found one local doctor who has found a method to treat former football players suffering from brain injuries, and it seems to be working. Talk about the effects of the hard hits pro ballers take on the field have caught the national spotlight. And we're not talking Friday night lights or Saturday and Sunday night lights either. No, with the upcoming release of the movie Concussion, it's making those in the NFL pay closer attention to players' repetitive head injuries. But perhaps most importantly is the awareness it's raising in players. The traumatic brain injury is scary, and I had three pretty significant concussions my last year in the league in 2011. And um, you know, each time it felt like it took more to get beyond, uh, to feel normal again. Former NFL linebacker David Babora knows the signs and symptoms of head injuries well. Played for four years and four games in the league. Ended up uh, blowing out my shoulder in that fourth game with the Seattle Seahawks. There were times where I'd hit someone and, and open my eyes and everything would be green. For Babora, those hard hits now equate to finding ways to treat areas of the brain that are no longer stimulated, like hyperbaric chamber therapy. You're under pressure in a chamber, breathing 100% oxygen, and it fully saturates the blood vessel. Dr. Alfred Johnson says the numbers of player injuries is significantly less than the days of leather helmets, thanks to better equipment and increased awareness. But he says players should always practice safe techniques on the field. The prevention part of, of concussion is, is the player sport the way it's supposed to be played. I mean, don't lead with your head in football. It's what comes with the game, but at the same time, you, you have to always be mindful of what's most important.